in the statement of changes in equity limited companies for iel this is your first chapter of financial accounting okay what was the first thing that we did in this chapter was the format of statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income are you with me yes and then we did sums that is related to uh, making it the prescribed format and the format is prescribed by international accounting standard one correct yes second thing we did is making the statement of financial position and sums that related to making both the statement of profit or loss and the statement of financial position the third part of this chapter is the statement of changes in equity when i talk about equity what do you mean by equity miss the shares the total shares when i talk I about equity i don't mean the shares by equity i mean the shareholders funds yeah and the shareholders funds is made up of what shares only shares and uh, general the reserves so the shareholders funds is made up of the share capital share capital and uh, the reserves what is the meaning of reserves miss money kept aside money kept aside which money kept aside uh, the profits the profits that is kept aside now understand one thing our international accounting standard when it states that other than your statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income other than your statement of financial position the following things also needs to be shown in your financial statements so when we talk about financial statement there are a bunch of statements that has to be shown to the shareholders okay yes. so these things needs to be shown the first thing is the profit after tax for the current year what is the profit that is there after tax for the current year can you tell me where will this profit after tax for the current year go to go to yeah where will it add be added up to uh, the equity but in the balance section or oh, the general reserves the retained earnings retained earnings yes, 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 complete free reserves and whatever profit you get after the payment of corporate tax it has to go to your retained earnings okay yes IAS one also tells you that other than showing this, you also have to show how much dividend you are giving to your shareholders. From where are you going to give dividend? Hmm. From your retained earnings. Where are you going to give the dividend from the retained earnings? So it is shown as a deduction from your retained earnings, and they want the changes in the share capital. and the changes in the reserves that means whatever was the capital at the beginning and whatever is the capital on the last date from the beginning to the last date whatever changes has happened ias 1 wants you to show it in the statement form so this is the thing that we show statement of changes in equity are you with me yes in your statement of changes in equity you the maximum number of columns that you have would be this first would be your shares then your share premium please note share premium is also profits which is earned and it belongs to the shareholders when do you earn this profit miss when you sell a share at a Higher price. When you sell the shares at a price above the face value, above, then you yes. have the retained earnings. Then you will have general reserves, revaluation reserves, and this is your total equity. 
this would be your total equity on the first date this would be your total equity on the last date and they are interested to know this part are you with me yes. also yes. one more thing can you tell me how many types of shares do we have two two what are the two types of shares that we have ordinary and uh, premium premium Oh uh, wait! I have it written down. Preference. Yes. Preference. Understand? Preference shareholders have nothing to do with the extra profit that the company generates. Hmm. They are people who will receive a fixed rate fixed. of. Sale. Yes. Okay. What I have to do in the statement of changes in EBT, it is only and only. For the ordinary shareholders, are you with me? Yeah. Okay. So that is why the only share that we have is our ordinary shares. So what happens is we have our opening balance on the first date. It will come everywhere. Whatever we have, of course. Are you with me? Yeah. So we have our opening balance on the first date. Whatever is the balance, we add it and we write it. When they want statement of changes in equity, that means they want the changes in your capital and reserves from the first date to the last date. What is the reason for which it has changed? Hmm. What is a revaluation reserve? Miss revaluation is when uh, the change in your depreciation, like. From your assets. The value of your assets goes up or down. Yeah. If the value of your asset will go up, you will add it over here, and you will add it in the total. Yeah. If it goes down, you will subtract it. If it goes up, you add it. Okay. Issue of shares. The shares that have been sold. Yeah. So if you have issued shares at face value, you will add it over year and year. Ten and ten. Suppose you've issued shares at five premium, extra five. So the five would come over here, and what will be added over here is fifteen. Are you okay. with me? Yeah. This section will only rise because of the face value. Yes. The ordinary shares. Yeah. Only the face value. Yeah, only face value. Hmm. Okay. Profit. Tell me where will it go? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, retained earnings. Okay. So profit will go to the retained earnings, and it will go to the total. Dividend yes. paid. Dividend paid is ah. Uh... Where do you put dividend? Is a share premium or uh, this thing? It will be paid from the retained earnings, and it will be subtracted from the re total. Are you with me? Yeah. Dividend is always paid from the profits. Please, the thing that you have to remember over here is that this is the profit that is after tax. Are you with me? Yes. So, if you are given profit before tax, you would first deduct the tax and then arrive at this profit after tax, and that is the profit that you are going to add to your retained earnings. Okay. Okay. There are two types of dividend that you pay. Can you tell me what are those two types of dividend? One is interim dividend. Oh, interim and of uh, final. Final. So in this dividend paid, interim dividend will be of the current year. Whatever dividend you are paying, interim dividend will be of the current year, and final dividend would be of the last year. Hmm. Interim dividend is the dividend that you propose this year, pay this year. 
and final dividend is the final dividend that you propose at year end and pay next year. So this statement of changes in equity is prepared on paid basis. So whatever dividend you pay this year would come in the statement of changes in equity. So interim dividend of the current year and final dividend of the last year is paid this year. I hope you watched the detailed video that I asked you to. Video. You not. Now balance at the end. Balance at the end, this would be the total year, total year, total year, total year, total year. And this is the amount that has to come in your statement of financial position. Please note that this total from up to down and this total from left to right should be the same. Are you with me? Yes. So this is the statement of changes in equity. Are you with me? Yes. Okay, fine. Now say this is the one that you have and you have the opening balances on the first date. You have this? Yes. Okay. They have told you, let us assume that property was revalued and it is shown as an increase of 10,000 pounds. Come on, tell me, where will you put this in your statement of changes in equity? Revaluation reserve. Which side? Which side? Oh, yeah, revaluation reserve. In revaluation and where else? Uh, total equity. In your total equity. Very good. This is what they give you and you have to put. Okay. Come on. 10,000 was there in revaluation and total equity. Are you with me? Yes. Now assume that during the year, 50,000 value pound one ordinary shares were sold at a price of 1.10. That means yeah. the premium was 10 point, uh, 10 0 10. 10. Yeah, yes. per share. Issue price is always the nominal plus the premium value, right? Nominal yeah. is the base value and the premium is 0 0.10. So your issue was 1.10. Come on, tell yeah. me how will you enter this in your statement of changes in equity? So, Miss, uh, you for the issue of the shares, the ordinary shares get only 50,000. Okay. Which is the base value and then the premium, the 0 0.1, 5,000 will go into the share premium. So total will have how much? 55. Very good. The only thing that you have to do is the statement of changes in equity. Yep. Company has made a profit of 25,000. Where will yeah, you? Yeah, so retained earnings. And? Uh, total equity. Very good. 5,000 dividend is paid to the shareholders. Subtract from the retained earnings. And? And total equity. Very good. So, Miss, you put the brackets in the total equity or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Because when you're putting a bracket, it is Subtracting. that you're deducting something, right? Yeah. Okay. Balance at the end. Just have to calculate now. Okay, ordinary shares will come up to uh, 150,000. Mm. Share premium will come to 25,000. Mm. And retained earnings will come up to 50,000. Mm. General reserve 20. Mm. Revaluation reserve 20. And then you will just add this and put it. This is your Thank statement you. of changes in equity, or I could say this is your total equity. Okay. This final figure should be there in your statement of financial position. Are you with me? 70. So, 265, miss? Whatever. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, you have extracted the balances of 30th November 20. Your equity is made up of ordinary shares and retained earnings. 
you have some additional information which tells you your profit before tax is 25,000. Tell me what is the profit that you need? What do you mean by uh, 5,000 or uh, 20,000? Before tax or after tax? After tax, you need 20,000 because they have the provision 5,000. After tax. Your profit before tax is 25. So you yes. are going to subtract your tax 5,000. And what yes. is going to be added to the returned earnings? 20,000. 20,000. Dividend will be paid from? During the pay, pay dividends of 10,500. Retained earnings. Will be paid from retained earnings. So they want you to make the statement of changes in equity. Come on, try it. I'll wait for you. Ken, so this is how your statement of changes in equity will look like. It will have a column of ordinary shares, a column yes. of retained earnings, and total equity. Ordinary shares, this would be a balance on the 1st of December 2018. That is the first day. And this is the last day, 30th November 2019. Are you with me? Yes. Between earnings, this is the balance. And then addition of these both would come in the total. I need the profit before tax. That Sorry, after tax that is added to the retained earnings. Yeah. yeah. Then you have dividend paid. Dividend paid is shown as a deduction from your retained earnings. This is your total shareholders funds. Come yep. on, try the worked example too. I will, uh, you will explain me later. First you try it yourself. Okay. If you're just doing it, can you tell me how many columns would you have? For the example two, one, two, three. Four total. The ordinary shares, share premium, retail yeah. earnings, and total equity. Four. So there is a revaluation of assets also. Yeah. See over here. So you need five total. So you will have a revaluation reserve. Okay, try the sum. So you have your ordinary shares, your share premium, your retained earnings. Okay. In the question, they will give you the number of columns that is there. So if you have an extra column, you should know that there would be something that is going to come in for you. Yeah. In total equity. Ordinary shares, share premium, retained earnings, balance at start. Come on, read this and tell me what is for this. Of a revaluation, miss, you just add 100,000 to the carrying value. Okay, can you give me the journal entry for this revaluation? Revaluation right. reserve uh, credit. Okay. And bank debit. By bank. Money is coming in? No, no, it's going out. But from it's where? going out. This is just no, money is coming in, Miss. Money is not coming in. Only a reserve is getting created. There is no cash flow in this. You are just valuing your asset at the current value. So land and building valuation is going up. Hmm. So land and building is debit and revaluation reserve is credit. Land and building is debit. Okay. Okay. So, revaluation reserve will be debited. Yeah? By 100,000. Yeah. So, because this is in a million, so it will yeah. be 0 0.1. Yeah? Yeah, Miss. Now, your dividend paid. 700,000. So, where will the dividend paid go from? Retained earnings. And the total. Profit yeah. for the year will be added where? In the profit section and retained earnings. 
added to the retained earnings and added to the total. Okay. This is your statement of changes in equity. Now I want yeah. to do your activity number eight. Yeah. Okay. Just see this. It is just the same thing. You will pause and do it. This is the marking scheme for it. Okay. I'm just showing it so that you can pause and then check from it. You also have the PPT with it, right? Yeah. Then this is your activity nine. Again, I want you to do it. There is a place for it to do. And after you do it, there is a marking scheme for it. Okay. Okay, so you can check from the marking scheme. Okay. Uh, yeah. Complete the statement of changes in equity. And after that, I will uh, give you the role of auditor. Okay, so okay. after the role of auditor, this chapter is complete.